Hi, I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and I'd like to welcome you to this video, especially if you use the Vectric software. I'm going to show you this little hack in this little short video that's going to help you a ton when it comes to dealing with nodes. I just discovered this little technique that's going to kind of blow you away and really make your node work a lot more flexible where you can really, really refine your projects. Let's get into Vectric real quick. I'm just going to show you real quick and then get into your designing so you can start getting your designs fixed up. Let's go. Okay, we are in the Vectric desktop software, but this will work in all the Vectric softwares or variants of Vectric. So we have these two shapes here this kind of blobby looking thing and then I've got this whatever it is so I drew this one with arcs and I drew this one with a draw curve tool let's do another one just for fun I'm going to draw a circle right there okay so we have got these three projects so what we're going to do is go into node mode and the way we do that is by pressing N the letter N on the keyboard. And you know that you're in node when the cursor looks a little funny, like an arrowhead. Right? You see my cursor right now is an arrow with a little tail on it. The node cursor, the tail drops off. So we're going to press N and see if I can get this thing going. My computer is going a little slow. There we go. So you can see that my cursor now is just like an arrowhead without a tail. And now I am looking at the nodes in the vector software. So right now we are working with arcs. And an arc line, if you will, if you want to call it a line, one arc is an endpoint, another endpoint, and then it's got the arc point right there. So if I can grab that little dot right there I can drag that arc and change it as well I can grab each node and move it around so that's not the trick the trick is if you need to get nice refinement on your drawing so let's just take a look right here at this transition point the the line comes up and then it kind of makes a sharp gentle sharp turn right there I'd rather have it flowing so it transitions nice and smoothly so the way I'm going to do that is by going over this node here and I'm simply going to click on it once and now you see it turned red and then I can take my cursor keys the arrow keys on your keyboard and start to scoot it around a little bit so I'm going to press the up arrow key and look at that so now I can tweak the nodes a little bit and now the transition point is a little bit smoother here the same thing can be done over here like on the intersection point I can select that and now I can just move that node around I'm pressing the different arrow keys now you notice it's not changing the arc in here it's just moving the node point and then I can always come back and just change click the center node and just tweak it up a little bit to make it flow the way I want it to flow and then we can do the same thing over here I click this node right there use my arrow keys to bring it up and get it in flow with the other one and this so this is just kind of a cool tool to refine your nodes because sometimes nodes can be a pain in the butt to move around especially when your snaps are turned on now I'm going to show you some more here now this one is drawn with the draw curve tool and when I select it now we've got all these nodes here and so we've got this case where we got this little waviness in there and I don't want that I want that to flow smoothly as well so in order to get it to flow smooth let's just say I want it to come down and up so first of all I can click the center node and just move the whole thing down using my cursor keys and then I can click the flag itself and now the flag is highlighted and I can move that down or up and I can extend the length of it and I'm just holding the arrow keys down so this is very cool this will help you work up your designs 
uh, where you really need to refine things. Now we're getting to the circle. And the circle is a bunch of arcs. It's four arcs. And so we can click the center bottom node and I can draw that up and make it look like uh, whatever it looks like now. And so you can, let's see if we can do it like this. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is highlight these nodes. When you create a window around multiple nodes, all three of these nodes, well, looks like just two. That one has not changed. I'm going to go down. And so now it's moving these two nodes down. Let's try this over here. We're going to select that. And we're going to just highlight these four nodes and the flags and I'm going to move them all down. Now let's try this a little bit different. We are going to extend this flag a little bit and now we're going to highlight just those two flags and the other nodes. So you see it, this node is not selected and that one's not selected. So I'm suspecting that these nodes will not move but the flags will rotate down as I push the down cursor button. And look at that. That's exactly what's happening. So now we've completely changed that shape. And I can hit the right cursor button. It's going to stretch everything out. I can, what happens if I go past? I can drag it the other way. We can go all kinds of ways with this. So the whole point of this video is to show you that you can simply, when you're in node mode, is select a specific node. We'll try these two, and then use your cursor buttons to move them around. So what's interesting here is you see that this node was a blue node. And the minute I started to move it when I had just the node and one flag selected, it turned into a corner node that we can uh, move around. Now here's the other thing. You just saw that. I just highlighted the node and the flag, and now I can grab either one of those, and they will both move together without changing. So if I wanted to move that flag downward, I can't do that right now until I deselect, grab that, and grab that flag, and I'm holding my left mouse button down, and I drag the node inward. So I think you got this. All you have to do is select a node or any part of a node, click it, it'll turn red, and then with your cursor buttons you can move it around. Now I am hitting the up and down button. If I hit left and right, it can't go left and right because it's an arc is part of a circle, so it just won't do that. It has to keep the same distance here and here, but I can make it longer by clicking this one and then stretching it out a little bit. All right, so you got a little trick that's really, really cool in the Vectric software that you can do with nodes to refine your projects. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you're brand new to CNC routers and designing, subscribe to this channel because I really try to teach people at the basic level who are just starting out in ways that they understand. If you are interested in the Vectric software, I finally have an affiliate link so that I can get a little bit of credit for any sales on it. So. If you're interested in Vectric software, down below in the comment section, or in the description section, there will be a link down there where you can purchase that. All right, I am Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. Happy CNC and get playing with those nodes so you can refine those projects down to perfection. And we'll talk to you next time.